Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you a very cool app. It's called Goodreader. And I would recommend this to be one of the first apps you get for your iPad. And what it is, is it's pretty much a file management system that I think is a pretty critical thing missing from the built in apps that come with the, that come from Apple. So I'll just go ahead and take an example. Look, here's some of my one of my class folders that I made for my classes and you can s easily make different folders let's see if we want to manage files we can go in here and do a new folder call it a test folder okay and now that I've selected manage folders or manage files you can see over here that it creates a checkbox now if we wanted to we could go ahead and take this click on it and we do over here we want to uh, move it. We'll say we move it and we can go ahead and drag it over to we can click on a folder test. Let's move it to the test folder and move. Now that file we moved over we can well let's end, hit done and we can see that file in the test folder. What else might we want to do? Um, let's password protect one of these if we want to do that we can go back here under manage files click manage files select click protect okay if we want to protect a file first we're going to need to go down here to general settings and go down here we can also set protect uh, the actual app or we can set a password for files and folders we'll do this and let's just call it um, test okay confirm now we can go back over here for that folder that we wanted to apply the protection we click protect and that's going to make sure that we actually know the password in order to protect it but now let's see we'll hit done we want to go in there enter the password What else might we want to do with, with a file? We can email it. Let's say we wanted to email this. We just click on it, email, um, and that's going to bring up a... Okay, and then I guess what it's saying is you can't mail a whole folder, so we would have to go in and mail individual files. We can also rename, unprotect it, mark read or unread. make it a to-do. This is a very robust program. We can also go back to the main thing and do search on a name. Just like that. What else might we want to do? We can also download from the web and we can enter a URL. We can also browse which will open a quick browser. We can do a search find it, click download. We can also connect to our computer and all we would need to do is just open this and then go on to your computer in Finder hit command K which will connect to a server in which we put in our address here, IP address and that's it. You Then you can drag files back and forth to from here to your computer without having to plug into iTunes. Although you can transfer within iTunes if you want. You just go in where there's the app information. Um, I think it's one of the first tabs. And then it'll show all of the programs that you can use iTunes to transfer information back and forth from. Okay, what else would we like to see? Um, lots of settings as far as how you want to view PDFs and so forth very good program. Uh, I would recommend this is one of the first programs you get for managing your files. You can also, when you get an email, you can have it save into Goodreader, your file management system here. And it's, it's almost like the finder that was missing on, that should have been provided by Apple. So again, I think this is about 10 bucks, but it's definitely um, a very, a very good investment. Well, thank you for your time, everyone, and have a great day.